Hi there, this is Sam from MyPhysioSays.com. Today I'm going to show you a couple shoulder mobility exercises that I like to use for people who have rotator cuff or shoulder pain and are finding that they're getting limitations in their movement and we're trying to restore that for you. So, a few things. First thing I'll have you do is lying on the back. We're going to assume that the left shoulder is the affected one for me in this exercise. And what I want to use is my strong arm to help carry the weak shoulder over, up and above, down towards the ground. From that point there, and then I'll again use my strong arm to help bring that back. So most of the force is actually happening through my right, the left one's just kind of going on for the ride. For the next movement, we're going to train for the shoulder abduction motion. And in this case, I'll use my right arm for you. So actively, I'm just going to bring that arm up to about 90 degrees, if possible, without discomfort or pain. And then down on the other side. So the tail end of this exercise is where we use gravity to help. So you have to have at least 90 degrees of active mobility to get there. So it'll be technically a little bit harder on the first half. A little bit easier on the second half of the exercise. And again with the same shoulder, another active motion that we can work on is shoulder external rotation. So keeping the elbow stuck on the body, what I'm going to do is pivot my wrist up and above the elbow. I want to reach up as high as I can and then coming back down nice and easy. This one again might be a little bit tricky. One of the things I do like to also do here is making sure that my shoulder blade is set. So I'm squeezing it back a little bit and then coming back. 